Hi guys, welcome oh. back. It's uh, Jeff and Chi here. And this weekend we have been busy working on our laundry. We've been preparing all the panels for our laundry cabinets. So this is uh, Jeff's workplace. Jeff is an apprentice cabinetry maker, or you call them joiners. And so today we're in here and uh, his company's very kindly allowed us to use the space. That there is a CNC machine. So he's gonna do most of the cutting of the panels there. And then we'll come over to this side, which is, what do you call this? Edge bending machine. Edge bending machine. And that's to put on the edging to finish any of the cut edges. And that's our man. Oh no, I'm a woman. So Jeff and I, we came up with a few different laundry makeover options. They don't look very dissimilar, but we finally agreed on this final plan. We have a full height cabinet but it's slightly customized because the cat toilet goes underneath it. And then next to it, we have a wall hung cabinet. And directly beneath that wall hung cabinet, we're gonna have a bench top so that the washing machine can go underneath it. And next to it, we're keeping the laundry sink that we bought last year. On to sheet number two, which are the shelving pieces, the carcass basically. Now we will be cutting the plywood. Basically the skin of the cabinets. So once we're done cutting all the panels, we brought it home and while Jeff assembled the carcass, I was applying finishes to the plywood. So for the wall hung cabinet, I applied Danish oil and finished it with polyurethane. For the full height cabinet, I painted it, it's kind of like a a medium green blue tone. It's called Juniper by Resine. So we got a spray painter and I was going to spray it outside but it got so windy that day that we decided to spray indoors and so we had to set the house up and try our best to isolate spaces with the plastic sheets. But believe me, it was actually quite a bad idea because we ended up with too much paint spray going everywhere. They're like the small aerosols, so they're essentially like dust and they were settling all over inside the house. So never, never spray paint in indoors. Do it outside in a sheltered area. Today we will be installing the laundry and this is what it looks like before. So for the first task, we had to move the existing power socket because it was going to be locked 
by the full height cabinet and all I've done was made a hole in the wall next to the existing socket and pulled the wire through and our electrician would come in to install the sockets. So Jeff started installing the full height cabinet and he began with the cat toilet as the base and then he's put on four feet and they're all adjustable so that you can make sure that it's level then once he's got that sorted, he installed the carcass and then once it's done, he pushed it into place and measured the side panels and the side trim that would close the gap to the wall in the corner. He measured that, scribed that and I helped with cutting and then we moved on to the top piece and that was the full height cabinet done. And then we moved on to the wall hung cabinet. The tricky bit is to lift it up, making sure that it's leveled with the top of the full height cabinet. And while it's been supported by Jeff, I tried my best to fasten it into the stud in the wall. And then there was a lot of tweaking afterwards, just to make sure that it's leveled and straight. We then proceeded to put up the side panel and then in the following days we installed the doors for the wall hung cabinets. That's an easy one. And the slightly more challenging one is a bifold door on the full height cabinet. So Jeff brought these back to his workplace and got them drilled and had the hinges installed before bringing them home. Jeff is installing the slider for the bifold door. Once these were installed, we worked on installing the side panel for the bench top and we made holes for the drainage and water supply into the washing machine and scribed it so it's at the right height and depth. So we've added an L bracket here so we can keep this in position. And then of course we went shopping for handles. Gold handles and we're gonna install them on the cabinets. Look at that, that's another good. And that's gonna go over here. So that's a template. You see the two holes that tells you the spacing and where to put the holes. So that concludes Part two of the cabinets. We've got most of the things installed. Part three, we're gonna look at putting on the new bamboo bench top, hooking up the new washing machine, and also the installation of the backsplash. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for future videos. And we will see you next time.